Welcome to another episode of Grayscale. What I have in front of you is 22 by uh, 15 watercolor paper. What I did was um, paint it the whole paper yellow. Then I've taken a sponge like one of these. Okay. And dabbed all over the place with it to give you the look you're looking at right now. After that was done, I let it dry. I've taken a wash of um, sky blue, really light blue. Okay. And I rubbed it all in here. That's the original yellow spot right here. And added some yellow here and here. So it's got kind of a chalky. Um, uh, layer over the black which is fine it's just background color and when I add <coughs> the leaves and such it just makes it look like there's more happening than it actually is okay so that's basically what's going on now I'm using a different camera so the focus is really here okay so if I bring anything kind of closer it's got an automatic focus, but I don't think it's going to um, do too too well. It's trying to do it now. Okay, so if you see my back of my head, it looks kind of strange or out of focus, whatever, like now. Um, that's why. Okay, I try not to do the automatic focus with, a, with these type of cameras. So I'm going to try to stay out of your way the best I can. But we're going we're gonna to get right on to it. Alright, first off, let's find a brush that will accommodate more than less more than likely most of my uh, most of my painting here I'm going to uh, my color palette I'll have it written up here somewhere it's a uh, burnt sienna grumbacher red um, cad yellow titanium white phthalo blue and um, phthalo green okay will I use all of them who knows right now let's get to some uh let's get to painting in some leaves and such well before i do that let's kind of kind of highlight where i want the uh, where i might want the uh couple of the flowers or whatnot so i'm just wetting up a bristles of a synthetic round brush and i'll get into a little bit of this um a little bit of the titanium white. I'm going to get enough to sketch in approximately where I might want a few of the um, flowers. I really don't want them dead in the center. Okay, so maybe we'll put one kind of oval-ish. Somewhere like that. So that will be one there. Okay. Maybe we'll plop a, a bud of some sort up here. Alright. I'm going to put the, a bud up there. Okay, that's one. For that side. Let's go over here. Let's put one. Maybe around here somewhere. I'll make this, these guys kind of nice size. Something like that. Okay. Um, so they'll be pretty decent size um, um, flowers. But that's pretty much where I want to put them for right now. Okie dokie. I put some of these guys back here. And we'll go get right on to it. Let's get some leaves going. I think I might want, um, I guess I can put a few long stroke leaves uh, messing around in here. So let's use a smaller, smaller brush. I'm going to dip into a little bit of my medium. Okay. Now my medium is a little watery than what I would use. I'm used to um, doing it. Okay. And I'm going to use a little bit of this, this uh, phthalo green here 
and maybe a touch of blue with it. Try to keep it kind of close to its background color. Okay, now I can start off thin. Let me get my head out the way here. I can start off thin, go thick, and just like so. Okay, now I gotta water it down with a little bit of the medium so it helps it flow on the watercolor paper. Nice and easy. And maybe another one here. Have it, have it thin and aim downward like that. Okay. I usually like to work in threes. So, oh, let's have one playing around. Well, let's put the let's put the stem in right here. Stem in like that. A little thicker. Something like that. Get a little more blue, a little more green. It's getting more toward the raw paint now. Get a little darker here for that guy. And we'll do a little more detailing later on. But let's have a, a, a leaf thick. Have it aim that way. Okay. So it keeps them pretty dark. Okay. Um, as the color sets, it darkens in. It kind of blends them a little better into that background. All right. We're going to go on this side here. So I might as well keep the theme going. I've dipped a little more into my it's a shampoo and water mix I got more water than shampoo so it's, it's kind of really flowing okay it seems to be handling better with the uh, thicker Grumbacher paint that I use okay so let's aim some of these uh, fellas in another direction let's go maybe let's have some down here let's go thick and then go thin like this spread it out thick and we'll thin it out I have a little curve right there something like that and we'll do another one thick uh, let's have him come out right here thick have him thin out right there like that okay and maybe we'll have one just thick curving upward like so something like that I might plop another one this guy mm, let's have him come this way thick curve him get thin like so. an odd shape but that's okay We'll even have it come thick outward. We'll have them cross and come right on over here to the other side. It all de depends if I choose to keep the painting together or not. Uh, let's have one, just a thick one also. Let's aim it downward. Just like so. Okay. Now. I like I like that way it's coming out. I'm adding a little bit of the uh, the sienna in with the green. I'm gonna loosen up the paint a little bit. So th this these leaves are gonna be a little a little darker. It's gonna set back. I'm mixing it in with the uh, blue green that I, I have in here. So let's get some of these going. Let's put. Oh, let's put a nice wiggle one right around here on the bottom. So I'm going to just squiggle a little triangle shape like so. Take the flat of the brush. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make it a little, a little larger. Have them come on up right here. And maybe we'll put another one coming around. Somewhere around here. Give it a little triangle shape. 
getting some more sunny uh of this um sienna some more green a little bit of blue just mix it in there really good and we'll like so come right off the page it's okay just like that and we'll do the um, the highlighting and shading a little later on Oh, uh, let's put a dark one that's hanging hanging out around in here, right around here, a little triangle shape there, and we're gonna do the same thing here, and we'll have one here, just like that. Keep it at some kind of uh, unusual shape. You don't want uh, exact carbon copies. Okay. Oh, I have it spring along right around here, maybe in front of the plant, right in here like that. Overlap a couple of them. You get accustomed to the strokes. Okay. Just a few here and there. Let's have one. Let's have one cross the page. Why not? In between these guys, like that, and have across the page, right around in here, something like that. And come here, and do the same thing here, just like that. Come right across the page with it. We're gonna continue the party and the festivities right on the other side. I'm just putting more sienna in, more um, of the medium. Eventually what I'll try to do is I'll have another camera set up to look at the palette. I think you guys might like that. So we'll have one right from here. Matter of fact, come right across the page, come down this way. So we'll angle one in that fashion over here on the other side. I'm kind of going slow so you guys can catch how I'm doing the strokes here. Everything kind of, I like that one, oh, that looks pretty cool. I try to angle them to where, um, has a little interest to them. Everything kind of goes towards that point down there. Some will make it, some will not. Okay. They don't necessarily have to be that shape, but I, I kind of like the way they look. Mm, let's put just one up here. Um, probably just just like like that. Keep it at one steady color. Make sure I'm out of the way here. I know you'll see the arm. That's kind of a given. Okay, let's get to some highlighting. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. I'm putting it right into the green that's already here and a slight touch of white to strengthen the yellow. You can highlight them whatever colors you want actually. But right now I'll just use this lighter shade of uh, green. I'll have the light source come from over here. Now when you do highlight, give it a press pull and you slowly lift up let it feather away and you don't necessarily have to highlight every um, little bl uh, blade of the uh, every blade of the uh, the leaf I'm just adding a little more um, yellow putting it right into the bristles here
as you get accustomed to doing these, the strokes will be easier. Just skip one. Go down like that. Now, as the color also sets in, get a slight touch of white, brighten it up a little bit. And some more yellow on top of that white. Um, as the color starts to dry and darken, it won't appear as bright as uh, previously put down. Okay, skip one. Let's go here. And we're going to go here, skip one, just like that. We're going to go over here on the other side, push, release. See that feathering effect that's going on right in here? That's kind of what you're looking for. That's what you need. Okay. All right. We're going to darken it up a little bit. Let's rinse off this brush. I got a, a rag that I yank. Here we go. All right. We're going to darken it up a little bit on the other side. I'm going to use some of this brown or this uh, burnt sienna and a touch of yellow in that burnt sienna and maybe a slight hint of white. Not much. Believe me. I don't want it to uh, I don't want it to glow. And I'm going to tease, work on that dark side here. No, it may be seen, it may not be seen. If it's not seen, I'll make it to where it's visible a little better. It's not really seen, it's a little, I think it's matching too much with the background. Yeah, I can tell. I forgot to highlight one leaf. It, it escaped me. It blended a little bit too well. And that's the one right next to it, right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, get a little blue. It definitely have to be darker. So I'm gonna add a little touch of red into the blue. Deepen it. I still have um, lotion, uh, shampoo on my brush the mix on my brush so let's do something we're gonna darken some of these guys here set them back a little bit okay we're gonna go back here we're gonna we're gonna really deepen some of those guys here need dark to accentuate the light okay and as we get on with it let's get to this guy right here We'll get to some backlighting and all that fun stuff. Just dipping into a little more phthalo or ultra, um, yes, phthalo, phthalo blue. It's a deep blue, and I'm mixing a little brown with it. And a slight touch of the uh, medium here. Usually my medium for 3 1 mix ratio. some white in with it. I'm going to do a little highlight. I'm going to highlight just the tips. And a little bit there. Also, I'm going to highlight 
I will uh, not highlight everything. Not on all of them. Just a few. When you highlight some and then you leave some out, it sets some of those in the back. Okay? That's why. So it's really your choice of how you want it to uh, do it. What do you want highlighted? What do you want to be more subdued? It's your, it's your, your thing. Okay. Just cleaning off the brush for a second. I uh, keep forgetting the one here. I keep forgetting this guy. Oh, right up here. That guy. Yeah. Let's shade him in a little bit better where I can see it. I'm just looking at it, checking it out, make sure I got what I'm looking for. <coughs> Let's get a little bit of white. Let's lighten up this mix I have. I'm getting a sharp edge so I can add one of those guys, a little vein in the center there. You can go as detailed as you would like when you do these. I'm only using the corner. Of the brush. Only the corner. Go off the off the paper. And just trail it on. Like so. All right. Even though we got little highlights and such. Okay, I did not highlight the leaves here. They're in the back. All right. Um, whenever, I, if I ever put other leaves in here, there'll be a brighter color to be in front of these guys. All right, so it adds depth and dimension to your um, floral pattern. All right, okay. We will move right along. Let's get some, um, while I'm thinking of it right now, I'm trying to find a larger round brush. And if I can't find it, I'll limp up by. Up there we are. Use this guy. Let's get some buds going. I always enjoy um, painting buds. And I think I can get away with some white ones. So we're gonna go that route. We do white white buds this time, and um, you just take your paintbrush. This is a round brush, a little larger, number ten round. All right, you see that? I know it's gonna come out of focus on you. So you see that? I'll put it somewhere dark right there. See that? Okay. Put that paint on that round brush. Let's take a. a um, I guess we'll take a blue color. It'll stick out a little bit better. We're gonna go over here to the side. Okay. Aim almost like a like a pen because I'm at an angle here. So take it and we're gonna just trail that blue. There we go. Trail, trail that blue. Come on, buddy. There we go. Trail the blue down. Trail it down. Give it a little wiggle. Stop. Give it a push down. Let it go. Got yourself a bud there. That wasn't too bad. Let's do uh let's do another one. Maybe a little shorter. Coming in 
coming right off the page here. So we're going to come off the page, right around here. We are underneath that leaf, go past it, plop one right there. All right, let's get some more white. And we're going to get some more deep dark blue here. Um, well, we got two there. Mm, we'll have one. Yeah, it'd be good and cute to have one just kind of down here a little bit. Plop one right there. Okay. All right. So we got them blue on one side over there. We're going to go to the red. I'm going to go basic red. I didn't take the white off my brush. It's okay. Now, I have red on the brush. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's see what happens if I use dark green. Or the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the little green. We'll go nice concentration of color we got here. Let's go curving out of the uh, out, of, out of the plant itself let's go right in front of this bush right in front and we're going to plop a red one right there like so that's not bad let's do another one dark green let's have it like branch off of that one come behind the leaf come down curve around right about there let's do one more then we'll leave it alone more of the green we'll come somewhere on the other side let's have it uh, let's have it just coming out from here come down my bad my bad nope need more green See it's turning red over there? That I don't want to keep it green. Yeah, keep it trailing around. I will just trail right past that guy and we'll end it right about here. Like that. Okay. Let's get some more of that green. Maybe this will make this mix some blue and green together. Give it some little curly Q leaves on the side here. We can do some of those right here. Come right on around. Same thing here. Come on around. Curl around here. It's a little too bright. Curl it around like that. Still too bright. Darken that. And we'll do the same thing over here. So, a little more green. Still, let's do one right here. Get a little rough up there. Like so. We're gonna go on the other side here. <coughs> right here. And we'll continue that right there. And let's have this one flip around like that. Go on up. Like that. You can add all sorts of, of uh, and let's have him wrap around like that. Just like so. You can do all sorts of stuff with this, to be honest with you. All sorts of stuff. Once you get accustomed to the technique, you can do pretty much anything you want. Okay. All right. As I'm checking things out, I'm looking. I could play around with some wiggle stuff, um, but maybe not. I think with the background and some of these in the buds, that just might be enough. So I don't really have to throw the whole whole kitchen sink in there. All right. Coffee time. I think I've already decided 
where I want to go with uh, one of the flowers. Okay, so I'm going to take. Mm, let's just take the same brush here. So that's about I don't know three quarter inch. It's in a, a size eleven. Uh, size eleven flat. This guy. Okay. I'm going to use this for the majority of, of the flowers. I would like to mix a nice neutral color. So we're going to use, oh, I need to make a gray actually. So we'll take phthalo blue. We're going to take some of that Grumbacher red, which makes maroon. Okay. But it makes something else when I add yellow. So I'm adding a yellow to it right now. And then, as I saturate it with the yellow, now I remember I made maroon, red and blue. I got yellow in here now, in the mix. Okay? So what am I going to do with that odd mix? I'm going to add white. Why am I adding white? Because now it turns into a gray. Okay? The more white you add, the more gray it becomes. And you'll see that in a second. So, it will not be trick photography or anything. It will be gray. And depending on what color you, you get, you put the most in, it'll be either gray on the blue side or gray on the reddish side. But either way, it's still gray. And I need it to be gray anyway. So red shall be. I'm getting a little bit of my little watered down medium just to thin this paint out so I can spread it out a bit. You guys don't believe it's gray? Watch this. Gray. Look at that. It's gray. I'm just going out from the center here. I know. For white flower you sure do got a dark start to it, right? There's a method to my madness. It will be a dark flower. Gotta mix some more. So I'm mixing some more. Remember the colors. Grumbacher red. Phalo blue. Cadmium yellow. Mix it all together. Nice little hodgepodge of color. And then the last coupe de grace, you add white to it. I know it's odd, but it does make gray. As you can see for yourself, it makes gray. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna from where the proposed center of the flower is, just go outward. I know it's an odd shape, but we're going to do something about that too. But there, that's pretty much what you're looking for. Even though that's, you don't believe it's going to be a white flower, but it will be. Trust me. Remember, you need dark to accentuate the light, alright? Let's get on to the next guy here. I mean, it might as well be a white flower. You got white buds, right? Shall we do this from the basic red? Why not? So what I'll do is add... Um, actually, I'm going to put it right into this gray. Grumbacher red. I'm mixing it in with the gray that's left over here. All it does is just... Well, <laughs> gray down the red a little bit. So when I add the actual red it'd be just that much brighter and this is just the the basic framework color follow me just the groundwork color anyway let's get this let's get this edge going <coughs> adding a little more red to it let's get some medium thinness paint down so we can 
to move around a little bit for me. Cover all that up in there. Not all about here. I'm not here to for it to be. See what goes on here it doesn't matter. I'm more concerned about the edges. All this stuff here, all up in here. I've learned how to do florals like this from um, Gary and Catherine Jenkins. You may want to check them out. They have them. It's their, their artwork is amazing. Really is. Adding a little bit of red. Let's get some yellow in here. Let's get some a little bit of blue. There we go. Get some of that moving in there and put it right up in there. Finish this right off. There. Okay. For the deep color for the red guy, I'm gonna go it's opposite. I'm going to add green with the red. Okay. So yes, I'm adding green with the red. Gives me a deep kind of a uh, uh, it's a greenish gray. So I'm using the color opposite. I'm just blending it really good here. And what I'm going to do is let's start with the bowl. Let's do the bowl mm, maybe on this side. Let's go down like that. Okay, and we're just going to go upward, fade it right out. Go higher in the middle, fade it right out, like, like so. Higher up around here. We'll fade, it, fade it right out. Just like so. Okay. We're going to take that same color. And put a little smile. Oh, let's put a smile right around here. Right in there. I'm using a little more, a little more green. Some blue is trying to sneak in there too. That's okay. And we're going to fade that out. Just like that. Bottom of the bowl here. Just like so. Spread it right out there. Okay. That's your bowl here. The back of your petals is back here bowl and your bottom petals here okay okay ironically since I like that deep color we're gonna do the same thing here for what will be the uh, white flower that has got the uh, very deep gray look to it okay some blue is trying to sneak in here so I'll, I'll forgive it and let it get in here we're going to do the same thing. Let's turn this guy the other way. Right around here. Just like so. Just like that. You want to fade out the, up the edges here. You can keep this one pretty strong. That can stay pretty deep right there. That's no problem right there. It's here you want to kind of fade it out. A little higher on the top, wider on the bottom, like so. How deep you want the bowl is entirely up to you. It depends on your positioning of the flower. Okay, okay. Oh, we'll have the bowl 
Let's give it a deep smile right in here like so. Fade it right out. This way. Just need that dark. You need to sharpen up that bowl a little bit though. Just tighten that up a little. But much like that. If you don't kind of understand, and if you're new to it, you may not. All right. Um, here's your top edge. Of the bowl. Here's your top edge of the bowl right here. Here's the bottom of the bowl. The leaves are going outward, outward, outward. Top bowl, you got leaves coming from the back. They curve around here, curve around here. Okay, same, same thing here. Out in the back, you got the leaves in the front facing us. Here on the bottom, you got the bottom leaves out here. Okay, okay. I'm just cleaning off the brush. <coughs> I will more than likely use the same uh, brush here for both flowers. But before I do that, it's time to put some leaves in here uh, for these guys. Okay, they're going to be a little brighter. They got to stick out from what you have here. Okay. Oh, forgot about that guy. How did I let myself do that? Shame on me, right? Okay, let's see what kind of mixture do I have left. Hmm, not much. Uh, let's scrape and get uh, scrape off some white. Let's scrape a little bit of green. I got white in here. Let's get a little more red. Put it right in there. We're gonna try to gray that up a little bit. There we go. It might be a little lighter, but it's okay. I forgot all about this poor guy. This guy right here. I forgot about him. Okay. Just like that. Lock him right in. It's all the knees. Just lock him in. Just like so. There. That ends that. Forgot about that guy. I surely did. I left him hanging. Okay. And as I'm looking and checking things out. What I'm going to do is give myself a little break, let it set, I will come back. When I come back, it'll be due to petals and, and whatnot. Well, actually, do the leaves, the brighter leaves, different color, different flavor for them. Have it stick out a little bit better. And then we'll come in finish it right off. Okay? Okay. So give me a second or two. I'm just spraying the inside of my so I can keep the paint a little moist cover it up and I shall be back for round two stay tuned okay we're back I guess I will start with the red guy since it's furthest away from me and let's see if this chalk pencil will do the trick for me okay let's do the little guide here yep I guess it'll work I don't know if you guys can see it but we're gonna do one petal here we're gonna do a little heart shaped guy right here and we're gonna do one that comes around scoops around like that so we got three okay maybe we'll do it come around like that those are the three outside guys we're going to have one in a teardrop fashion come out and around like that. It comes around. Now while it's coming around, um, we'll do one here. We'll do, matter of fact, it comes right off of here. It comes out like that. Okay, everything is going to go right about there. So hopefully you guys can see that. So everything aims toward that X. 
Now we have, um, well, we got this going on. Okay, this pedal here, this pedal here, will be flipped. Um, I guess I'll flip it right here. I'm going to have curve. I'll have a curve it this way and come down like that. Let's do the other one right here. It'll be a curve coming in, but it's going to curve down. Okay, I had to stay silent because the dog was barking for a minute. I'll do like that. Get that out of there. All right. We're going to have these two kind of cross each other or whatever. But it will be the cup going around the outside facing us. That's what this is going to represent. And um, this one I threw off my tripe. This vanishing point will be here. Okay. But when we get past these guys, okay, anything on the outside will revert back in here. So this would be pretty much an open row. All right. Okay. Um. Let's get to the psychology. Let's get to the mindset of a red flower of any sort. Okay. Um. If you try to highlight or you try to um. To uh. Uh. Lighten red and you try to use white with it, all you're going to end up with is a pink rose instead of a red one. And you want to keep it red. So how would you highlight it? You would highlight it by using um, yellow. Okay. So, and if your yellow isn't as opaque or as strong, you can always add white to it. Alright, I'm just um, getting some more yellow paint because some of my yellow is contaminated a little bit. But before I do any of that, well, I need some more red to start off with. I just realized I don't have enough red. So we'll get some red going here. If I need to deepen it, I can always glaze some shadows here and there. And I can use the, the sienna <coughs> to do so. Sienna and blue. Okay. Here we go. What I am going to use, um, do is I'm going to lighten. Actually, I really don't have to. Because the red is so dark, I can just use the natural Grumbacher red, to be honest with you. And so I'll use the natural Grumbacher red. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the color on the brush more towards the, uh, the tip. I don't think I need any medium for this. I don't believe I do. But we're about to find out right now. Now I got some blue in this red, but that's okay. Okay, everything aims toward the X. All right, you might see a little bit of my head in this. And so, I'll start, flatten it out, come around, and you're gonna feather right away. See that feather? That's what you're looking for. And you overlap your strokes a bit. Matter of fact, I'll just keep it just like that. Just like so. get that come in a little bit like that overlap your strokes we're gonna move right along technically I should have done the middle first but that's okay we'll uh we'll do this one first but come on the other side come around all right overlap a little bit remember everything's coming toward that X and we're gonna curve it right around like so 
getting some more paint. We're gonna continue right along. Come right on in there. I'm going a little higher than my guideline. Okay. Now uh, we can we can bring him in a little deeper there. Just like that. So those are your outside petals there. Okay, still keeping with the same color. We're going to do those two outside wings there. Two outside guys. Still aiming towards. Give a little curve right in there like that. And right in there. Same thing here. Press, give a little curve. And fall right in. A lot of this will show better in the highlighting. So don't worry about that. This guy right here. Let's um let's do this one here that's gonna be covered first. We're gonna come here, come out, spread, and we're gonna thin out, come right around like that. That's for this one. And remember when you go to highlight not highlighting now but when you go to highlight the strokes will be like that for that guy and actually while I'm already here and doing it I'm gonna wipe the paint off let me highlight him right now because he'll be covered so we'll do a little highlight for this this fellow um just pure yellow it'll mix in with the red that's already on it so we're gonna give a strong touch here. A little push. A little push. A little push. And we'll put a little yellow right in there. Just like so. He needs a stronger outline there. Right in here. Just like that. Come on, buddy. There we go. Uh, that's the one in the inside. It's about to get covered up with the other uh, flower, other petal. So that one went on first. We're going to do the second one right now. It's going to come here, go wide, and we're going to scoop him right around, wrap around in there. Now remember the highlight of this guy. I'm using a little white with uh, the yellow. I never took the red off. It's still gonna have more more yellow in it. I add the white to make the yellow a little more opaque. Okay, right here. Give it a little push. I gotta give it a little push. I'll give it a little push. Like that. Let's scoop it right in there. And we're gonna lighten that, lighten that up a little bit. Still gotta give it a strong outside edge there. But you see how that looks? Okay, now you got two separate ones. Got little frills and all sorts of stuff happening with it. Which is actually um, pretty awesome. And you can kind of give this a little, little touch there. Cup them right around. Little fire brand there. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's clean off my brush a little bit. Better. And we're dipping into more yellow. I'm going to gradually use more yellow. It's mixing in with the red on my brush. Which is fine. I'll use a slight touch of white to make it a little more opaque. Now, when it comes to highlighting, you can do various forms of it. All right, um, up to you. Let's go right from here. We're gonna meet with this fella right here. We'll give it a slight little curve and little feather right in here. Have it meet there, just like that. 
I'm gonna do the same thing here. Clean some of that up. Fade some of that a little bit better. I'm at a weird angle, but that's okay. Just like that. Let's put this curve a little bit better too. Let's angle, angle that curve in. Like so. Just wiping off the uh, excess off my brush. Nice little firebrand looking thing here. I'm going to do a little bit here. And give him a little cover right there. Just like that. Let's go on the other side here. Let's give him a slight push. Give him a nice little sharp edge there. And we're going to curve him in. Nice little fade right in there. That's a nice fire brand type of rose, huh? Let's give it a little more yellow. Now, I might put some medium in this a little bit to loosen up the paint just a tad. It's got that reddish, um, yellow, very warm looking uh, hue to this fellow. side here. Give a little push. Come on in there. Give a little push. Push. Overlap a little bit. Get a little higher. Give a little push. And let's put one down below. In there like that. A couple more. This is acrylic paint I'm working with. Okay. Clean off my brush a little bit better. I'll let that dry a little bit because if it appears too bright, too yellow, I can always um I can always um glaze some more red on top of that okay but I want some of these guys to have a stronger edge to a few so just a push and a little guy a little push a little thick push and we'll guide some a little bit I just want a stronger edge on a couple of them and then this is where you get kind of into the details a little bit some of these guys need to have a stronger edge to them. 
brighter edge to me. For me. Hold in here. Just curve somebody in there like that. Just a few. Just a Let's get a little yellow, a little white mix here. I really brighten up a few spots. Now I got the titanium white mixed with the yellow. See, some of that makes it pop out a little better. Don't have to be everywhere. Just you know, here and there. Like that. Maybe a little spot right here. Just destroy that bottom edge. You just want the tips to kind of put one in between a couple of petals. Maybe one down here. Makes it a little interesting. Put one right in there. You can always play around with it. Okay. Now I'll stop playing with it. Leave it alone a little bit. A little bit. As I'm looking at it, we'll move to the outside, guys. Okay. Let's move around to the fellows on the outside there. They can be a, a wee bit darker. I'll, I'll add a touch of green to darken up that red a little bit. Just a little. Slight, slight touch of medium just to loosen up the paint. Everything's still done with the same size brush. Okay. So, I can approach these also in a couple different ways. So, instead of really doing, well, let's do this one first anyway. We'll do the outside first. Press everything's going up. I think so. I can have this one actually come, come in like that. As we're doing this. I can add another row. Let's add another row right in there. And have them turn in a little bit. Like so. I can add. Let's add one. Let's add one another one here. That's kind of come here, comes out, comes in like that. Okay. And before I do anything with that one. Because that one's turned up toward us. Let's, let's get some of these guys out of here. And yeah, let's do a nice one right here. And yeah, we'll curve it right around. Just like that. So we're going to get into our yellow mix with the deep red. And we're going to give this guy an edge right here. and narrow him right here like that you have a point up here and curve him around if I have to darken that I'll darken that because it looks like it needs to be a lot darker so let me use nothing but red just to deepen that color a bit I want them a little darker. I 
and I can go in with the um, it's that part that's giving me the trouble right here darken that I can go in with the glaze and solve that issue too because I just wanted the outside rim to be darker but we're not going to worry about that right now let's get another row of petals in there nothing but red down below oh let's do let's do one let's give a curve right in here curve and let's give this one a nice little curve right in there too and a little, little curve and let's put another one right up in there we have them come all the way around like that Okay, now that we got that squared away, let's get a little white, a little yellow. When you go to highlight, they don't have to be as prominent as the color, as the color, the layer you put down beforehand. Okay. Now this, these leaves on the bottom are kind of in shadow, so you don't want to go overly crazy. All right, this one here, you can get away with a couple of little, little little lines in here like that maybe a little bit in here some of these guys a little push here a uh, little more on the outside here sometimes it just takes a couple of touches like that these in here Push, go, push, go push, just same here, push, go in the opposite direction, go push, opposite direction, push, straight down, go push, straight down, just like that, look at that curve, see that, alright, really, really cool, okay, enough staring, getting some more yellow into my little red, highlight just a few just to give the impression of the leaves underneath like that okay let's highlight some of these guys down on the bottom here they're still in some kind of shadow we'll make some come out a little more than others that's already looks like a little, little trick I like some a little more than others, like that. All right, I was gonna work with brighter leaves before I did the petals, but changed my mind. Just clean off the brush here. Wipe off the extra paint. Don't believe I need to really add much more to this, but I am going to glaze some red in the inside of those petals light glaze in here they don't need to be that bright so nice little soft glaze will help solve that issue a little bit see that this a little more a little more uh, a little more glaze than paint and it'll put some red back in there as it dries the yellow will creep, creep back out don't worry about that. You see I softened that right in there. Okay. I will keep the strokes kind of even. So it won't look like I painted them all in like that. Like going the same direction of the center. And that kind of kills all of that. Alright. I'm a little satisfied with that. Now I can actually take a little bright yellow and highlight what I want to highlight as you see it doesn't take much just a little, little touch here and there you can add layers take layers away all to you I can add some more smaller ones in there if I want some coming in it another direction up to you 
I won't get too carried away. I think that's fine. I won't bother it much anymore. We're going to move on to the white one. I just want to add a little highlight to this guy. But I am going to darken one spot that's disturbing me. I don't like it. And that's this little grouping right in here. I'll just darken him right up. Right in here. Even him out a little bit. Shade him a little bit. Okay. As that color sets, I may darken him with a little green. Just to get that... that I'm going to highlight it though, just like that. We'll see how that looks once it dries. Alright, we're going to move on to the other flower. After I put some stamens in, just a few, I can take a round brush, get some white, tap in some yellow on top of that white, open up the brush a little bit, and we'll put a few little heavy little stamens in there come to the toward the bottom and open it up towards the top there like that just like so let's get some white kind of wake it up up around in here just on one side just like that okay we'll leave that be I promise And we're going to move right along to the next one. The white flower. And we're going to try our best to keep it white. Alright. Now, I'm going to get plenty of titanium white. trick with this is to try to keep it as pure or white as you can um but before I do that believe it or not I still have to gray this thing a lighter form of gray anyway I'm using blue and green I'm gonna get a touch of red some yellow put yellow in it I'm getting another form of gray again guys and we're gonna use a lot of white it has to be uh, a brighter gray the highlights will be um, <clears throat> the highlights will be white so I'm getting a blue gray going After I get the blue gray going, put a little medium, loosen up some of this, some of this paint. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing like we did with this fellow. Okay. Okay. And here we go. Oh. The dot is right there. You guys should be able to see that dot. If not, I'll do it again a little bigger dot will be right there. Everything goes towards that dot. Follow me? Okay. Oh, uh, we'll go this way. We'll do it this way. Let's go like this. We'll have um, like that. And we'll do the other one here. Thick and then thin. Like that. We'll do the outside first. The petals coming closer to us, we'll do them. We'll do them first. And here we go. Just a touch, like that. Do the same thing here, just a touch. We're gonna highlight those two guys, don't worry about that. And I guess I, guess I can just do another one right here, why not? 
just like that. Just like that, and we'll scoop him up. So he has this one here has three. One, two, three. It will make sense, I promise. Okay, the outer rim will come flat out, curve, go right in like that. Same thing here. Oh, let's have this one a big one right in here like that. It will make sense. That one comes toward this fellow, that one comes toward that guy. I promise it will make sense. Okay, and we'll get on to the other guys, the other pedals. Just like so. Everything aims toward that dot. And we're gonna come this way. Let's give it a little push. Come that way. Push. Like that. Push. Come like that. Alright? Okay. See how quickly that was done? We'll let that dry up a little bit. Let's go to some of these fellas in the inside. We're going to... The curves become a little more pronounced because you're getting closer. And the peaks are a little higher, like so. And you can do another one aiming right in there. Just like that. Okay. So these petals are like kind of blooming outward. So you got them a little more bunched up than you had the ones on that side. All right. Okay. You build your flowers in layers. Makes life a lot easier for you. I promise it does. Let me stop right there for a minute because I want to. Uh, I think I got plenty of gray here. I want to do some highlighting on, on these guys. But let me let that tack up and dry a little bit. So let's work on some leaves. Right here. The leaves, um, they're going to have to stand out a little, a little more. Um, I think I want these leaves to be... Mm, let's try for some blue leaves. How about that? Bluish gray or whatever. Let's see how those look. And we'll lighten them up a little bit because... They gotta, they gotta kind of stand out a little, a little better than the other leaves. So let's, let's do that. Where am I gonna put them? Interesting. Oh, let's put, let's put one of them guys right here, just like that, coming right down. Nice size leaf. Gonna get some uh, medium, loosen up the paint a little bit. Thalo blue, gray, a little bit of white. Okay. Yeah. Let's have some fun. Uh, they're gonna be nice size leaves. Coming in like so. Just like that. We're gonna go on the other side, do the same thing. Just like that. Let's have them come up a little bit further. And then we'll, we'll go in. Have them come off like that. Just like that. Put the leaves right on up there. The leaves gotta pop out at you. They have to. They gotta stick out from the rest. Get a little more medium. Loosen up that paint a little bit. We're gonna have another one come right above that leaf. Okay. Um, you can have it overlap a little bit. Whatever. So it's gonna overlap the other leaf. It's okay. You want that. Nothing is picture perfect in nature. You got some leaves that overlap all the leaves. All right. It's okay. Just like so. Just like that. Let's do another one right here. Just like that. Just like so. Have it have it overlap that guy. Doesn't matter. It's your choice of which leaf you want on top of the other one. Okay, that's really up to you. Okay. I'm going to plop one more somewhere too. Probably somewhere up here or around the side. Probably over here to even it out a little bit. So I'm getting a little bit of white. Get some more of this phthalo blue. 
Uh, a little touch of the medium, thin out the paint. Let's have one. Oh, just like that. See that? That slender triangle there. Okay. And you curve go around in there. Press, press that leaf right in there. Let's do another one right in here, like so. Come on, my paint's going away. That's okay. Just like that. All right. All right. Let's highlight these guys. Why not? A little white. A little more white. Really, really highlight it. I think I got enough medium. I'm about to find out in a second. Right in here. Just like that. I think we'll do the highlights on. I will keep it on this side. Press. Let's skip one. Press. Go a little further there. Just like that. Don't be scared. Don't be worried. Press. I'm going a little slow. I like the, the feather look there. Let's skip one. Let's do these guys right here like that. Come right down. Just like so. We're going to go green here. We're going to go green. And we're going to go a little bit of red. Where was I? Oh. We're darkening up the uh, this green for the uh, shaded side of the uh, of these guys, and here we go. I'm gonna darken it in right here. Press. We're gonna go right in. He's a little more red, a little more dark. If it appears bright, it won't for long. Okay. Stronger push right there. 
a little bit more on him too. A little, a little love here. Just like that. Kind of like that. Well, give a little love tap right there. And maybe one here. Just a little bit. Mm, maybe just a slight one here. I kind of like the way that looks. Okay. Actually, let's continue that little theme going here on the other side. Well, maybe not. Because there could be other other uh, leaf leaves here too. So let's let's leave those alone. Let's keep those in the background. Let me get a nice strong edge here. And let's put a center uh, vein on these guys right right in here come on buddy right in there like that you too it give a curve right in there like so you too okay come on come on don't play with me don't argue right there like that okay pretty cool that side's completed let's move on we need uh Oh, highlights. Let's play with let's play with the highlights on this on this on this fellow. Now with my white, I'm adding a little yellow with it, a little green with it. Okay. Pure paint. I don't think that's a good idea. I think I should use a little medium so I can get my nice feathering going on this fellow. Mostly white though. Pure white. And my battery's going out. So I might have to continue with with a stronger battery. So I got a feeling it's going to go out before I even start any of this. Which will be so sad. So let me play with this guy up here. Oh, let's give him a slight push. Come in. Overlap. 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 And we'll circle him in a little bit. Just in there. We'll leave this guy like that because we're going to have le uh, green leaves covering but that's alright as long as I got that edge right there okay so it looks sloppy now but it will be corrected gotta work with these fellas but I got a feeling my battery is going to go dead so let's see if I can get a couple of them in before the battery totally shuts down some of that separate that a little bit better I'm gonna to have to change cameras or wait for this one to uh, fully charge up again as you see that that bright white will waken the rest of the colors up
tap a little bit of green in some of these. Feathering. A lot of feathering, actually. Just strengthen some edges. Right in here. Just a little press. Nothing but pure white. And we'll glaze some shading in here. Pure white. Overlap a couple of these fellas. Let's get a chunk of paint for a good separation right in here. Push. Just like that. Yeah, we're gonna do the same thing with this fella here. Have it come right into it. Then we're gonna glaze some some highlights in there. Cause I got a feeling I'm on my last leg with the battery. And that's fine. I'm going to tease a little bit of yellow in that white. Right around in here. And then we're going to tease a wee bit of green in that white. Just for reflection's sake. Like around in. Around in here. Maybe a little bit back there. Some of it in here. Tail end of this thing. Oh, uh, battery went dead, so I had to kind of let it, uh, <clears throat> kind of let it, uh, fill back up. Anyway, let's get right back to it. Um, completely, well, as much white as it can be. I got it mixed in with green now. So, we shall continue it on. Oh, this one got like bits of red in it. But that's okay. That is okay. Uh, we're going to go with the far petals this time. A little press. A little, like so. And you know what? Let's continue that one right in there like that. And then we'll play around with these guys on the outside here. And let's add a little tip to this one. And then spread out and have it come in like that. Put this one on the outside like that. And we'll plop a couple of these guys in here like that. Loosen up the paint a little bit. Gonna continue on with our quest. <clears throat> Just like that. Let's, let's give a little curve to that one. And maybe have one. Oops. I like that. Have it go the other way. And let's have one. Much like that. As I'm checking it out, I'm looking at it. Maybe have it go in a little further. Let it feather in a little more. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Now, I'm going to. Where's my towel? What I'm going to do is create. A nice shadow color makes it look a lot uh, a little more complicated than what it actually is let's move the camera back around to mr. red here 
Um, the shadow color, I'll use a little bit of green. I'll use a smaller brush too. A little of the phthalo green. Um, let's see if I can dig up some red here. Some more red. And then, I'm going to make a glaze out of this. shadow color. I think I'm going to use the uh, the mix here, the uh, glaze. I'm going to glaze it on here. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right. There's certain parts of the flower that I want to put in shadow a little bit. Something like that. I'll feather it just to get rid of. I don't want that sharp edge. Like so. And we're gonna we're gonna feather in some of this here, right in there. And we'll feather it out a little bit. I don't want a sharp edge. Feather it right out. Okay. The bottom here. We're gonna feather some of that. You don't want the sharp edge. Feather it right out. Some of it really should be in shadow. So as I'm adding these shadows. It'll make it look a lot more complicated than what it actually is. When it dries, some of that yellow, some of the bright will show through, but it won't be as prominent. So basically, that's all I'm doing is adding shadows where it's needed. Darken it in the spots that the highlights really pop out. All right. Logically, you would put them, you know, like where there's a lot of petals overlapping that's where you would put them it just brings the other um, leaves back a little bit and you don't want no hard edge try to stay away from a hard edge okay and I'm feathering as I'm doing it get rid of that soften some of that if you have to use your finger use your finger it's acrylic paint, no harm to you. See how I bring some of those back? Like so. You don't fret, don't worry. You're not gonna drown out anything. You're just setting the petals back a little bit. So some stick out more than others. Alright. That's a little trick you can do. And the darkest is close to the color at hand. So, like all in here, separate that. Don't kill your brights. Okay. Up in here, you can set some back more than others. Back in here. It helps to separate. You can soften it up with your finger there. Feather some of those out. Some set back further than others. Okay. Let's see. Let's have some of these shaded in here. A couple of them partly shaded in. Like that. As I'm moving right along, you can separate some of these petals up here. Look at that. See that? I remember some of that's going to shine through when um, it dries. Okay. It's almost like you're making a nice little game out of it. You know, some of these petals, like say this one here, you want to single that one out there. Single that one out there. Just shadow it in. You see how they all pop out? Okay. Really, really fun stuff to do. If you want some a little darker than others, you don't have to go all the way. And then we want to get 
rid of all that yellow. In case you do something like that, okay? Nothing but pure yellow. Watch this. Go in the direction of nothing but pure yellow, no medium, nothing. Look at that. Give it a little push. Turn the brush around. Give it a little push. Just like that. And look how that thing pops out there like that. That's what you're looking for. That's what'll sell your painting. Okay. Just take practice. Keep practicing. With it. Everybody has their own unique style on how to do it. <coughs> so I'm checking things out here and there. Just to see where I might want a few to kind of pop out at. Not everywhere. Maybe on one side more than the other. Nice rim of yellow right here. How about that? Nothing but pure yellow. That's all. Not everywhere. Here and there. Keep it just like that. I really don't need it. I don't think uh, it's not anything else is really needed. I'll tease a little bit here. Something like that. Fade it in there. Okay. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I think I'll keep this one in shadow. We're pretty much done here with that one. Let's move around to this guy. We still got leaves to put on this fella here too. Let's tease some strong yellow right here where the, where the uh, yellow the background is. We'll put in a couple of little spurts of yellow in there. Something like that. Just tease a little bit of it. Maybe a little edge here. Just a little bit. Maybe even that edge right in there. Just just a wee bit. I'm thinking of where else I could maybe Tease a little yellow, maybe around in here, something like that. Okay, enough of the yellow because I don't want it to really overpower, you know. <coughs> Let's get some more white. I need some more titanium white so I can really make this thing glow. Don't need too much of it. That might be a little much. I'm using a smaller brush, pure titanium white, no glazing, no nothing. And actually what I should have done before I did this was, um, but I'm just playing around with the highlights, it's okay. Thicker paint, just separate a couple of these edges here. Give it a little push and in, push and push, push, push. Right in here. Push right in there. Just like that. Thicker paint. This is acrylic paint. And it 
softens up a little bit of what I got back here too. Some of those is gonna gonna get some uh, dark glazing. Okay. Let's play here. Let's continue that line right in here. And we're gonna dip that in that way. There we go. I like that little curve. And it kinda meets and goes in here. Like that. Try to get that little wavy, flowy thing happening. Don't necessarily need it for every one of them. Sometimes just a line is needed. Get rid of that. In here, you can strengthen a lot of your shading. Like that. Just in certain certain areas. I don't want it all over the place. Spending spots. Like that little line right in there. Get rid of some of that. Okay. Mm, maybe a couple in there. Maybe a couple of little dots in there. Coming out the way. in here going the other way in this little circles I'm looking at a few spots that might maybe need it maybe I think that pretty much uh, sells it let's get to some fun let's add some shadow oh uh, I'm going to need a touch of blue. Just a touch. Now, the interior of the flower is gray. So this blue will help accentuate it and bring some of the color back a little bit. I'm going to play around with a little bit of red. What little bit of red I do have left. Give me a little bit of maroon in there. So I'm scooping up some red. A little bit of medium. I just want a shadow color. It's like a, a bluish gray. Okay. And let's play. We're going to play all in here. Oh yeah. Get a little light some of that up. I'll use my finger. I'll lighten bits and pieces of that. Going reverse. Okay. I just want to get rid of that hard edge. No hard edges. Some of them will be covered, like so. This one here, covered in shadow, like that. Not all of them will be covered. Pick and choose your battles. Okay. Let's shade some of that in. How about this guy shade him in too? Just like that. We'll give him half a shade like that. Right here. Shade the rest of that guy in. But look look at what's happening. It's just me picking and choosing where I want some shade at. Go right over that bright yellow spot. Don't worry, it'll come back. Right in here for this guy too. And like that. If you don't like how some shadow is uh, forming, you can always part of this petal is shaded. Not all of it. Same thing here. Part of it. Part of it. In here, a little deeper. Maybe a little more on this side. Smooth it out a little bit. Get rid of that edge right there. Get that away. Um, 
let's say you shaded something and you don't particularly care for it go back over it with the highlight color it's okay you can do that it's inside the bowl so they don't have to be as bright color it in a little bit okay get dipping into my medium again more medium than paint I'm getting a residual and red up under here a little bit pretty deep in there a little bit in here too wipe off some of it off my uh, brush and we're gonna get rid of some of that hard edge smooth it right out now that guy there that's mostly in that shadow we can bring that brightness back just like so some brightness edge up too go a little bit higher okay before the camera shut off on me I was uh, somewhere around here okay now what I am going to do is clean off my tiny brush it's a half inch brush so I went from a, a, a 10 to a what size is this thing half it's a half inch I'm gonna get a little bit of the shading just a little small bit here a little bit of the blue and right here on the bottom edge I'll give it a little darker shading here I might even touch on a little bit of brown I just need a small touch of the, of the brown a little bit of brown a little bit of the blue Mix it in a little bit wipe some on the brush because I just want ruffle in the corner. When you do a ruffle, let's concentrate on this edge here. Alright. If you want to do a ruffle, well, you know what? Let's do it on the other. Uh, it's because this is shaded side here. Well, I'll do one for an example. Let's do it this way. See this? Okay, and we're going to do a just white one red in. Just like that. There. Now you got a ruffled edge right here. A little V right there. There's your ruffle. Okay, so you got a little ruffle here. Okay. You could do ruffles anywhere, to be honest with you. But I don't think we need uh need any more leaf theatrics. I think we, we just about got it. We'll go with the uh with the um let's brighten that up a little bit, fade that. Feathering here. Let's have that from going on the outside. Like that. I'm going to give a sharp edge to this guy. Let him be the pedal on the outside a little bit. Just like that. There. Okay. Enough playing. 
think we're good with this this fellow. I think so. Let's get some uh, brightly colored leaves in this this dude here. I guess I'll stick with this smaller um, brush for right now. We're on the last leg of it. I'll use a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, we'll mix it in here, get some of this uh, medium, get plenty of it, and let's uh, let's plop a nice size leaf uh, right around in here. Let's have them curve a little bit, and like like so. Hopefully, you guys can see that. No, you can't. Let me raise it up a little bit. Okay, you guys should be able to see it now. And we're going to come right around the other edge here. Just like that. You know what, let's plop him right in there like that. Make him a bigger leaf. Give him a petal right in here too. Cover it up like that. Yeah. You can change your leaf shape to anything you want really to accommodate your, your painting. So we got one here. I really don't want to cover up these two. Um, so we'll put one right here. We have, he comes across there like that. And we have him come up around here. That. He'll come that way. So we got one here. We got one here. They're going to be brighter. They're going to stick out a little bit. Um, that's it. Let's really let it stick out. We'll use some yellow, white, green mix. Put red up in there. I'm using the residuals of whatever I got left here. That's all. Yeah. And let's do this side too. like so okay we're gonna get a nice dark side too <coughs> clean off our brush real good let's put a little brown in there a little brown and blue how about that for the dark dark half let's see what that looks like yeah just like so uh, this side here a little more, a little more brown, a little more blue. We'll put it right in there like that. You know what I like about WRVO stations? It's their fun drive. They're so earnest in their begging, but I love it. Okay, we're getting into this bright greenish blue, adding a little more white. I got a nice little center vein in there. Same thing with this guy. Put a nice one right in there, right down the middle. Just like so. Okay. I think I want it to uh, stick out a little more, so I'm going to coat it. Got some craft paint here, some craft yellow. Pour a little bit on there. Glaze some yellow over that. I still want the uh, this guy to kind of irradiate a little bit more. So I'll just coat the whole thing in yellow. Almost a reverse glaze. The dark will still remain dark. Okay. Well, that you don't have to worry about. It's that the bright will really stick out with the yellow. But same strokes, same direction, even on the dark side. It's okay. It will still remain dark. Just like that. Now you can really see them pop out there. Alright. <coughs> and just because I can, plop a little white in there. Come 
couple of touches. One big one there, the touch one here, and a little baby one. Have it pop out there and have these guys come on out like that. Just like that. Okay. So he looks like he might just have, he might have two. Got it right in there. Fade that yellow in there like that. All right. I do believe that might be it, guys. I think she's sticking out there pretty good. Um, I don't think we need anything else, really. Maybe a couple of cutesy little little taps here and there for a couple of these guys. Pump them out there a little bit, like right there. Uh, maybe, maybe one there. Well, everything else, I'll just leave it alone. Don't really need anything else. I'll leave it be. Got to know when to stop. And I think this is a good time to stop. All right. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. My name or my website should already be somewhere around here already. Okay. Let me get up off this chair. Let's pan this back a little bit. And you guys can see it. See the whole deal, and I'm gonna take it off the uh, take the tape and crap off. All right, here we go. Tape and crap's coming off. Just gotta remove what order I did this. In. I may or may not remember. This is like uh, almost two separate pictures in one. Bear with me for a second. I have more than uh, one piece of tape on here, so I'm trying to remember the order. And if I don't remember, I'll just Pull away from the paper, because if you don't, your feelings will dr drastically get hurt. Pull away, pull away. But as you can see, the sharp edges, okay. Here's the fun part, the center. The center got to be a pull-lift method. It is in the middle. Be extremely careful. This is something you definitely can't rush. Don't try it. Don't try to rush it. Pull lift. Pull lift. Pull lift. Be careful. You get 99% done with the painting and then you end up ripping it all through here. It's happened to me before plenty of times. So, but all right. Let's see if I can focus that in a little bit better. All right, but there you go, guys. Put it right in there. You guys can really see it. Okay, see both of them. One red, one white. The shading, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. All right, but there you go. I'm not gonna be in focus, but that's okay. All right, guys. Um, Let's put me this way. I think you guys can see me. All right. Hopefully, I'm, I'm in focus. Let's see. That should be good. Thank you very much for uh, checking this out. I got to stoop a little bit. I'm taller than my camera mount. And uh, let me know what you think, okay? Love doing these for you. 
Uh, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Give a holler. Um, any questions, comments, let me know. Happy painting. If you guys want to try something like this out, be my guest. Um, I would love to see it on my wall. Until next time, um, check out the vast array of videos I do have here on my YouTube channel. Um, and I'll see you next time. Alright, peace.